When I first met Lucy in Oklahoma, she was in what I would call her princess phase. She was, I don't know, I guess you might call her vain. She really loved mirrors. She was about 10 years old at the time, so she was quite large already. And at that age, her parents couldn't just let anybody into the house. What should we do? You think she hurt? She's Not coming. Again. What do we do? No, Lucy, stop! Get away from me. Lucy was adopted when she was just two days old as a psychological experiment to see how human a chimpanzee could become. But when her parents saw what it had done to her, they thought that sending her to Africa seemed like the best thing to do. So they came to me and said, we want you to go with Lucy to help her. At first it was for two weeks, maybe three. And I suppose you could say at that time, I was just a, a young graduate student. I had a part-time job cleaning Lucy's cage. And they never asked me to stay. One year later, I decided to bring Lucy to live uncaged on a nearby island with these other chimps who had been taken from their mothers when they were just babies. The others just thought Lucy was wonderful because she was so big. So anything that they saw Lucy doing, they would do it too. It was all turned around backwards because Lucy didn't have a clue about how to survive on that island. <laughs> it was just so frustrating because she wouldn't even try. When I found that I still couldn't leave Lucy. I don't know, maybe it was the special link we had that made Lucy cling to her humanness. I started to think, maybe I should leave. did change after that. I think I knew that I couldn't live there forever anyway. 
but I didn't know how painful leaving would be. Then a year later, these people came to film the chimps and they asked me if they could film me going back to the island. I don't really remember why I did it, but I took some of Lucy's things, you know, her drawing stuff and her books, her mirror. It's a hard thing to articulate what freedom means. But if you just watch the chimps, when they went to sit by the river to watch the sun go down, wind would blow and you'd see one of them tenderly pull the hair behind the ear of another one and start to groom. Just that, <laughs> the small things in life. I'm happy that she did get to experience that. And really, that's what let her walk away from me then.